we had a look at this idea of regions, which are just when you have an inequality, right? Inequalities like this. We are used to dealing with inequalities that are one dimensional on a number line because a line is one dimensional. To have a region, which by the name you can tell um, defines a 2D space, that's when you've got, well, well, you've got two variables, two dimensional inequalities, okay? So that's all we moved into. Now what we're gonna look at today is when you've got more than one region and you want to combine them in a particular way. And as you'll see, there are two ways to combine them. We'll explore each. Let's just go back to what we think about with 2D first though. So, minus one is less than or equal to x, which is less than three, okay? Like I said before, we are familiar with this enough now that you can literally see what this is going to be before I draw it, right? Let's go ahead and draw it. Come in. So you've got your field circle, you've got your hollow circle, and then you have everything in between. No dramas, okay? This is fine. This is great. However, I just want to call your mind to the fact that this is really an abbreviation, right? This is this one set of inequalities is really shorthand for two, okay? It's shorthand for x is going to start from here, and then you can be greater than that, right? So x is greater than or equal to negative one, right? And at the same time, right? So I would use the word and, and. At the same time, x must be less than 3 and not inclusive of the boundary. Okay. So what does this look like? Let's just quickly draw because both of these are their own inequality and we can represent each of them separately. Right? So if we were to do x is less than, uh, oh, sorry, greater than or equal to minus 1, you've got your minus 1 and your 3 still there. Right? Now what I'm going to do is these two separate inequalities, I'm going to draw beneath the number line, right? Because they're not what I actually want, right? I'm going to draw this first one over here and it goes onwards because there's nothing stopping it. And then you've got this guy, which is going from here to the left and it goes forever. Nothing stopping it. So when we say this, what we mean is where did these two things overlap? Where do they coincide? Where are they both simultaneously true? What values of x can satisfy this and this at the same time? So values like 0 and 1 and 2 and all of the ones in between. So therefore, when you take this, right, you map the overlap of these two sections, right? You map them onto your number line. just like you did before, okay? So I want both of them, I want both of them. Can you see that over here, even though I've got one of them, I don't have the other. So that's why it's excluded from my actual number line part. And in the same way over here, I have one of them, but not both of them, so I'm stuck, okay? What we have here, the word for this, is an intersection, right? These two lines here, like I've drawn them apart from each other, so that you can see, see them separately, right? Bit hard to see two straight lines when they're literally on top of each other. But if I could put them on top of each other, I want the set of points where they intersect, right? Just like two lines, you know, we're used to thinking of two lines and they intersect at a single point, right? But if the two lines are parallel and they lie on top of one another, they intersect at an infinite number of points, right? So what I've got here is the intersection of these two points. We have a symbol for this word because it's very long. It's even longer. It's the symbol I've got is even shorter than the word and. Uh, it's an upside down kind of U shape without a without a tail on it. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a like a like a bad speed hump basically. Okay. That's the symbol. That's the symbol for the intersection of two inequalities. Okay. Now, within the course, within the course, um, this is the only way really that you need to worry about in terms of combining regions. Okay, and so I'm going to leave that for now, and we're going to have a look at some examples in 2D space. There is one other way to combine regions, but we'll get onto that after we have this nailed and we're a bit more confident with it. Okay. So on the right hand side of the board, um, we've got a few here, and I'm using this intersection notation. Okay. 
you'll see there's more than one inequality and I'm combining them. I want where both of them overlap, where they intersect, okay? You'll look at four and five and think, hold on, there's only one inequality there, uh, but the student among you will notice there really are two. It's just implied, okay? So let's start. Let's have a go at the first one. As you know, when you have an inequality, all you need to think about is just the, um, the actual equivalent equation, and that'll give you the boundary, right, for each one. Okay? So our first step is just to draw the boundaries and then work out which sides we're on. Okay? So let's draw y equals x and x equals 3, and then we'll start working from there. should put more colors with me. All right, here are my boundary lines. Now, I think, let's see, let's see how good we are with this. I think we're equipped to think directionally on these and not worry about testing points, okay? I think we can nail this. Y is greater than X. Y is the subject, so I'm thinking vertical. Am I above this or am I below? I'm above, right? Y is greater than, greater than, okay? So here's the section which is above. And I'm going to, just like I did here, I'm just going to draw the entire section, region, that corresponds to that one part of it. Okay? I've got that. Now I can do this other one. X is the subject. Actually, X is the only thing that's there. It's X is less than, so am I to the left or to the right? I'm to the left. It's lesser than. Lesser than. These values over here are lesser. Right? So here's my X is equal to 3. And I'm going to be less than that. If all you've got is a pencil, um, you should shade as best you can so you can distinguish between these two. I've got to put my lines going in different directions. So now, just like we did before, right? this one, one in vertical commas, inequality really is where these two inequalities overlap. right? So you have a look at your, all on mine, my cross hatching. Right? You can see, for instance, in this section down here, this triangle looking thing. Right? I satisfy x is less than 3, but I do not satisfy y is greater than x. So it's out. Okay, it's not going to be equal. In the same way, this triangle over here, it satisfies y is greater than x, but it does not satisfy x is less than 3. So both these triangles are out. Okay? Whereas you've got this double shaded area over here, and that's the actual region that I'm after. Okay? So now with a, with a, a different color or with you know, harder shading, this is the area where I really want. This one up. You can see, by the way, um, color pencils are a legitimate investment to use here. Maybe not for your actual answer, but so that as you do your working there, you're trying to make sure you see where sections overlap. This is about as easy as it gets. Two straight lines. As you see, it will get a little more involved than that. So being able to see clearly which sections of which is, is really handy. Now we're almost done. Let's have a look at this thing. Um, you can see I've got some um, important points here. For instance, I've got an intercept. Because it's the origin, I've already labeled it. Okay? But there's another intercept that I'm actually interested in. Right? Yeah, Jack, do you want to answer? Okay, sure. It's, yeah. yeah. Good. It's this point right up here. Okay? Now at this boundary, there's two boundaries meeting. So I want to know what's happening at that particular spot. right? And just like we have before, we have language for what happens to an inequality at a particular spot. It's either going to be a filled or a hollow circle. So I'm going to put a hollow circle there, and then I'm going to decide whether I need to fill it or not. Okay? What is that point? What are the coordinates of that point? It's a simple... Three. It's 3, 3, isn't it? Okay? Just like intercepts on a normal graph, points of intersection on your boundary, you must label. Right? So 3, 3, pop your coordinates on there. Is 3, 3 in the region I want, or is it excluded? Now, this is an easy example, because I've got two dotted lines here, neither of them included, and I need to have both of them included in order for that point to be part of it. So, it's not included. There's no way it can be, right? This boundary doesn't include it, that boundary doesn't include it, it's a hollow circle. I'm done. Okay?